Hey everyone! Today I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite winter essentials that I'm also going to be using probably in spring too since I feel like winter tends to last a long time, especially on the East Coast. I also want to say thank you to Belief for partnering with me on this video because I first discovered them at Sephora and I bought them and loved them, so I'm really excited to be making this video with them. Since moving to New York, I've just been experimenting and trying a lot of new things because getting dressed has been a challenge, figuring out what products to use has been a challenge because my skin has been experiencing different things, I have dry patches that I've never had before, my hair is doing things that I've never experienced before, but I have discovered some things that I really love, so here they are. If you asked me like last year or even maybe six months ago, I would have been like, keep the moisture shampoo away from me. It's gonna make my hair greasy. But because I've used so many Briogeo products and they always seem to work for me, I just decided my hair needs some extra moisture, so I'm gonna try this and it has been awesome. It is the Don't Despair Repair Super Moisture Shampoo. My hair doesn't feel weighed down. It doesn't feel greasy at the roots. It feels really balanced and I feel like that's what I need, especially for winter. It seems like my hair just needs an extra boost in moisture and that's what this shampoo does for me. At night, I have been using the Belief Aqua Bomb Sleeping Mask. The texture of this is so cool. They describe it as a jelly pudding and that's exactly what it is. I slather this all over my face. It feels instantly cooling and hydrating and soothing. And what I like to do is apply this about 30 minutes to an hour before bed because then I like to lay in bed and feel it like soak in. But what's really awesome about this is that it won't rub off on your pillow. So when you roll around at night, it's gonna stay on your face, which is what you want. And then when I wake up in the morning, my skin just feels really supple and hydrated. Also, apparently, Belief recommends that you store this in the fridge and you know how much I love keeping my beauty products in the fridge so that's what I'm gonna be doing with this guy yeah oh my god that would feel so good another thing from belief that I have been liking is the belief moisturizing eye balm and I have to say I bought this last year and Erica took it from me. Here I am again, and this one is mine. I feel like now using it again as I'm living in a cooler climate where the weather seems to be really up and down, I have really enjoyed using this. I think this works really well during the day. It gives great hydration, but at night, because I like to be wrapped in a moisture cocoon, I like slather this stuff on and it feels so, so good. Like if it feels good during the day, it feels extra good when I'm slathering it on. And it's great if you wanna wear it underneath makeup because it's not gonna interfere with your makeup. Personally, my favorite way to wear this is without makeup because I feel like it just gives my eye area an extra glowiness and dewiness. If you are curious about these Belief products, I will have a link down below in the description for you. And you can check out the Aqua Bomb Sleeping Mask and and the moisturizing eye balm. Next, we have something that barely has a label on it. This is the Ultra Repair Cannabis and Oat Dry Oil. I've used this during the day. I've also used it at night. It works really well both ways. I use almost a full dropper of this each time I use it, and it just leaves my skin really glowy, really hydrated. If I had to choose what time of day I like using this more, I would say during the day, because it just really creates a nice foundation when I wanna wear makeup over the top, or if I go outside and the weather is really cold, I feel like it just protects my skin. I have two lip products here, one high-end and one that is more affordable. I think I may have talked about this on Instagram, maybe in a video, but let's start Start over here. The Tatcha the Kisu Lip Mask. This stuff is incredible. Oh my gosh. This is a very thick jelly-like balm. This definitely is part of my moisture cocoon routine. At night, I'm just like, let me put this all over my lips and just feel wrapped in moisture. And when I wake up in the morning, my lips feel really smooth and hydrated. This has been especially awesome because my lips have been quite chapped. And I also like wearing this during the day, like when I'm first leaving the house, because it leaves a really nice gloss on my lips, and I love it because it's not lip gloss. 
it's a lip mask so it's really hydrating but it looks like I have lip gloss on now I only use this at home because it's in a pot and I don't want to be out and dipping my fingers into something and then putting it on my mouth so when I'm out I use my Lana lips and this is something that I keep in the pocket of whatever jacket I'm wearing at all times when I was younger I used to carry around Vaseline with me and I feel like Lana lips is better plus it doesn't smell weird like Vaseline does so I'm definitely really into this and this tube lasts a long time as well I know you could put this on your finger and apply it but I just use it directly out of the tube because I don't like using my hands and then touching my mouth when I'm out especially during flu season I love a good body scrub especially in the winter and one that I have been loving is from Frank body this is the whipped for your convenience espresso scrub I love that this has a twist off cap you just squeeze out what you want and then you rub it all over yourself. I feel like it's definitely less messy than other body scrubs that I've used and I really appreciate that. Plus, it smells like dessert and I'm into it. Oh yeah, that smells like chocolate cake. Following up with a body lotion, I've really been liking this one from Necessaire, V Body Lotion. At first, I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna think about this because it's fragrance-free and I tend to like using things on my body that have a scent, but I've really enjoyed this. I have pretty much used up almost the entire bottle. I have been slathering this everywhere. It just feels really thick and hydrating and creamy. And if I do find that I want to use a little bit of fragrance, I'll spray some perfume on or I'll use a scented body oil. But I've actually really enjoyed this all on its own, especially during the daytime because it is quite thick. But I would say within like three to five minutes, it's completely absorbed and I can just get dressed and it's not gonna feel sticky when I'm wearing my clothing. I really appreciate that because most body lotions are not like that. I have more recent become a bath person and now that it's winter I've been taking more baths just to get rid of that chill that I sometimes feel this is the Jo Malone amber and lavender bath oil I have been trying to ration it off but I don't think it's working because it's almost gone it just smells so good I can't describe it just a few drops of this will make my entire bathroom smell like this oil for days it also creates this really light creamy froth on top of the bath, which I love because I kind of love playing with the bubbles. And I wouldn't expect anything else from Jo Malone. They know what they're doing. Now, we're gonna get into the section that I call Everything is Black. Starting off with an umbrella, the Repel umbrella from Amazon. It is like the top rated umbrella on Amazon. Random story, but Christina and I, when we first met, we both had black rainbow polka dot umbrellas. We were not trying to match. We did not know each other before. And then we moved here and we needed to get new umbrellas. And guess which one we both got without talking to each other? This one. So now we're still umbrella twins. It's a really great umbrella. It's pretty compact. It's a little bit heavier than other umbrellas that I have. I've found that this does hold up pretty well in wind. When you press this button, it completely opens up very quickly. And if you press it again, it will collapse. It's a great umbrella and I've been using it a ton. The next thing I have is my jacket. So I got this jacket last year. It's by Sam New York. What I love the most about this jacket is that there are so many pockets. Why doesn't women's clothing have more pockets? Because we love pockets. I'm gonna count the pockets for you. There's one pocket, two pockets, three pockets, four pockets, five pockets, six pockets, seven. Seven pockets in this jacket and I am into all of them. And I recently just discovered this one when I I was in Seattle and I was like, oh shoot, there is a new pocket in this jacket. I've had it for a year and I didn't know about it. It's really warm. It's very lightweight. It also has these thumb holes. I wore this last year when I went cross country skiing and it was super warm, but I was still able to move around in it. And in the winter, I find that it's just hard to wear a bag when I'm wearing a puffy jacket because everything just slides off. So because there's so many pockets, I can just put everything I need in my pockets. And then I just have what Christina calls a jacket purse. It also has a hood, so you can really just 
get into this jacket and get nice and snug. It's also great if it snows or it's wet outside because it does repel the water. Now let's talk about the underlayer. This is a very crucial part of my wardrobe because I refuse to be freezing. My favorite base layers are all made by Smartwool. So I have Smartwool long underwear. They look like tights or leggings. This is really, really thin wool and it is so warm. Sometimes when it's extra cold, I'll wear my silk underwear underneath, my silk long underwear to be exact, and then this over the top and then whatever pants I'm wearing. And that is extra, extra warm. This is a base layer. Some base layers look like base layers, like you don't want to wear them as regular clothing. And I love these because it just looks like a regular long sleeve top. And if you're wondering if it's itchy, it's not. It feels really smooth up against your skin, which is another reason why I like Smart Wool so much. I will have to say that I'm probably the biggest fan of Smart Wool socks. I have multiple pairs of smart wool socks what i have learned is that if you have winter socks that are super thick they can actually cut off your circulation and make your feet colder so i switched to thinner socks that are made from wool it has made all the difference my feet are actually warm i also love smart wool socks because they have like blister protection built in them so they have extra padding around the toes and that just makes it more comfortable to wear over a longer period of time, especially in a city like New York where I'm walking around a ton. And I've had this pair for years and they are just the best. All right, so that is going to be it for my winter slash spring essentials. I hope that wherever you are, you are staying warm for winter. Honestly, I'm pretty excited for spring, especially in New York City. I cannot wait. I will see you guys next time. Bye.